Hey everyone, welcome to lesson 14 of how to make iPhone apps with no programming experience. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to generate some random numbers, and then we're going to integrate that into our project so that we're generating random cards and displaying the associated card images. Before we jump into the Xcode project, let's get started with a playground. So I'm just going to call this, uh, let's just call it random playground. And I'm going to save it on my desktop there. And it's actually very, very easy to generate random numbers. Let me show you how. So the function we're going to use is called arc for random. And you you might get autocomplete, you might not, but if you do, it's this one right here, arc for random underscore uniform. And then you're going to pass in an, a whole number that is an upper bound. Okay, so let's say 13. And that's going to generate a number between 0 and 12. I'll just give the playground a chance to run and compile the code. And you can see we have 0. Um, we can rerun the playground again, actually, just hitting enter. Or uh, you can hit stop playground and run it again, and it'll generate a different number. So now you can see it's 10 here. If I press run again, it's going to generate another one, 2. Okay, so you just learned about functions in a couple lessons ago. And I want to point out that I mentioned there were instance functions, which you call on an instance of a class, right? You you type in object dot and then the function that's associated with that class, right? So in our example, we had the person class and then we had some uh, functions associated with the person class and we would call the person object dot and then the function name and then you learned about uh, class functions which aren't called on a specific object instead they're called on the class itself so we had something like the person class dot and then I think uh, our our class function was uh, called get average age or something like that Right, and in the instance one was something like uh, when we created a new person object, we assigned it to the variable a. So then we would type a dot like update age or whatever that function was called. Right, so this is your class function. It's called on a class, and this is uh, a regular instance function. So you call that on an instance of an object. In this case, or in in that lesson, we had assigned that object to the variable a. Okay, so let's get rid of these two lines. The reason why I pointed that out is because this function right here, arc for random underscore uniform, doesn't seem to be either of those, right? I, I'm not calling it on an instance of an object, and I'm not calling it on a class either. So what sort of function is this? Well, it's part of the UI kit libraries. It's available to us because we've imported the UI kit framework. From here so if I comment that out you're gonna see uh, Xcode complain about this function because it can no longer find it so these are special functions that are made available to us because of the UI kit framework and we don't call it on any instance of a class or we don't call it as a class function another example of this would be print I showed you this earlier uh, and you know, print is a function where we pass in a string and then it prints it out into the console. All right, so another thing I want to show you is something that we're going to need to do in our project. So let's take, for example, this test. We're printing test out onto the console. But what if I wanted to print out test along with whatever number was generated in here? So let's assign this into a variable so we can reference it later. Let's call this, um, let's call it rand like that. And now what we're going to do and how we can kind of insert this rand variable into this string is by doing something like this. So type in backslash and then open a set of parentheses. Autocomplete might do something funny. It just flashed there and just ignore that you want to close the parentheses or the round bracket and inside here you can uh, type in your variable name so I'm gonna put in rand there and what that does 
is it takes this string, which we had as test, and this is basically a shorthand for inserting whatever value you have in RAND into the string. So as you can see here, it randomized the number two, and then what did it print out? It printed out test space two. If I run it again, uh, it's two again, but let's let's give that another try. Okay, nine. So test nine. So you can do this with another string or any sort of variable like that. The reason why we're going to need to use this is because if you remember in our card asset library, we named the assets like card two, three, four, and so on. What we're going to do is create that name dynamically using something like this. So here I have card zero, which we actually don't have. And we're going to find out how to make sure it doesn't randomize zero in when we get into our Xcode project. But this is how we're going to generate our asset names. See, as I'm randomizing it, I'm getting the different uh, asset card names from the asset library. Okay, let's jump into our Xcode project now. I'm going to open recent and let's open our war card game project. And now we're going to go into the view controller and I'm going to get rid of this print deal tapped. And instead, I'm going to type in a comment, randomize left number. So var left number equals uh, arc for random uniform. And we're going to put the upper bound uh, as 13 right now. But let's take a look at our asset library. What do we have? We have cards from 2 to 10. So for now, I'm going to randomize between 2 to 10. In a couple lessons later, I'll show you guys what are called arrays. And we can include our jack, queen, and king, and ace. So now let's randomize between 2 and 10. So what I'm probably going to want to do is... Uh, because I want it to start from 2. I'm going to add 2 to whatever number gets randomized. So now this is going to randomize from 2 to 14. Right. I'm going to do 8. Right. 7. No. I'm going to do 9. So this randomizes from 0 to 8. And then I'm going to add 2 to it, giving the range uh, 2 to 10, So which is perfect for us. Okay, so randomize left number from 2 to 10. Okay, and now we're going to assign not card 10, but remember, we're going to want to pass in left number into here. So let's use that special notation, backslash, open up a set of round brackets, and in here, I'm going to put in left number. Okay, let's do the same thing with the right side, but let me add a comment here. Set the left image, okay? Randomize right number from two to 10. So var right number equals arc for random nine plus two. Technically, you could reuse your variable here instead of declaring a, a brand new one. But just for the sake of clarity for you guys right now, I'm just splitting that up into two and declaring a new variable. Set the right image. Here, we're going to want to set it to card backslash, open up a set of brackets, and pass in right number. Make sure you pass in right number and not passing in left number again, or else you're going to get the same cards. So let's try this out. I'll tell you about what those yellow lines are in a second. Okay, so here goes. When I click deal, there we go. We get random cards from 2 to 10. And I think, oh, there was a 2. I was just making sure that the range is uh, 2 to 10. All right. So let's take a look at what these yellow lines are. Variable left number was never mutated. Consider changing to let constant. So the word mutated basically means changed. What it's saying is that after you set something into this variable left number, you've never changed it ever since. Like you've never assigned something else into it. 
So consider changing this variable instead to use a constant, which is like a variable, but once you set something into a constant, you can't change it again. So Xcode is detecting that, hey, you're not changing it after the first time you set something into it anyways. Why not just use a constant instead of a variable? And it's a best practice always to use constants if you don't need to change the value. And the reason for that is because it's more efficient and it's also uh, helps when you're debugging things because you can rely on the fact that you know this isn't going to be changing. So let's change these variables into constants. Very simply by changing var to let. That's the keyword for a constant. So let left number equals this. And then from this point on, because it's a constant, I can't assign anything else into the left number as a constant. So if I try to do something like this, you know, to assign something else into it, Xcode is not gonna like that because um, can't assign a value to left number because it is a constant. And the fix that it suggests is changing the let back to a var, since now it, it thinks that I want to change it. Okay, so this is our deal tapped function so far. We're randomizing two numbers, one for the left card, one for the right card, and we're displaying the appropriate image. In the following lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to include uh, the ace, jack, queen, and king. Obviously, we're going to have to do something a little different because right now we're assigning images based on the word card followed by a number. And in our asset library, the asset name is ace, jack, queen, and king. All right, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.